Welcome back to the channel guys, got a special one, um, the Beef Wellington. Now, this is a premium steak, this is eye fillet steak, the most expensive cut you can get. Um, I feel it is a back muscle that runs off the T-bone, so it's just about this muscle off the cow, and because it's only a fillet about this big, it's always the most expensive. It's a muscle that hasn't been worked much on the cow, so today we're going to get to trimming this. Now first, I want to take the silver skin off this. Uh, this is just a butt eye fillet. You can get a whole piece or a center cut if you want, but this is just the head of the head of my stitch, how Azzy is going to cook his beef wellington. First of all, I already explained about the fillet, about the muscle and where it comes from in the cow. And second of all, you need a few mushrooms. Uh, I'm going to get uh, three slices of prosciutto as well. I'm going to cook the mushrooms out because mushrooms hold a lot of water. You want to cook that out. You don't want it soggy. And then I'm going to put um, whole grain and Dijon mustard, a mix of both, on my fillet after it gets a nice colour on it in my cast iron pan. And then after that, I'm going to wrap it in some puff pastry. Now, let's get to trimming. Now, make sure you get yourself a nice sharp knife. See this silver skin here? It's going to be a bit chewy, so we're just going to remove that there. Now, a little trick I like to do is come just under the skin, like that. Cut it down to there. Now, to make sure you don't lose as much meat as you can, angle the knife like this. Hold on to that skin there. Angle it up, just like so. Look at all that. See that skin there? Didn't waste much at all, did I? Now, just want to come and just finish the rest of it off. Uh, I'm not going to be too picky, but I will get that off there, so just angling it again. And there's a tiny bit of fat there. The eye feel it's nice and lean anyway, usually, so I won't worry about too much fat. But I do want like a sort of even shape, you know, but I will be rolling it anyway, so just going to square that little end up like that. Okay, so we got the fillet of beef. All trimmed up now, okay? We've got this cast iron pan screaming as hot as I can get it. Now, olive oil in. We just, we don't want to cook the whole way thing through because it's going in the oven. Now, I'm just going to smash this with a lot of salt. That's going to give it a nice crust, okay? Beautiful crust. Because you want to lock those juices in. You want this to be nice and soft, nice and tender, so. Get some good cracks of salt on there. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, a little bit of pepper, lots of salt. Alright, now we want to hear some colour. Alright, let's go over and get a nice sear on this girl. I'm going to roll it to where that oil is, right down here. Press it down. You really want to get some colour on this. Lock some juices in. I'm going to turn it on each side for probably about five minutes. Pull it off, hit it with my mustard, let it rest, and then we're going to do everything else. All right, the next step is the mushrooms. Now, usually I would be pretty rough with my mushrooms, but I want to dice these real small all over. So. Just getting the knife work on there now, but you almost want it real small. I go over it like that, and I want it like real, real small. All right, just pulled the steak off, and that's what it looks like. Got some very nice color on there. Mushrooms are done. I'm gonna put this on a plate now. Let it rest, five minutes. Coat it with my mustard, and we're getting things on the road. Yummy. 
So just frying the mushrooms out now, as you can see, there's a lot of liquid coming out of there. So um, just give it about a couple of minutes. We're going to cook them anyway, but look at all the moisture coming out of there. And we're going to get to roll this uh, Wellington up. All right, now to paste the uh, beef fillet, uh, I'm using a tablespoon of Dijon mustard and a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Now I'm going to mix those together, as I said before, but I like both of them. And beef and mustard is just, oh. So make sure you coat everywhere on your fillet, even over the lens. Do the back side as well. There should be enough mustard here. You have to get your hands dirty, get them dirty, so just take a little bit from there. Move it around all sides like that. Beautiful. That is the coating for the welding tip. Nice and easy. Alright, so I've just laid the prosciutto down and I've got me mushrooms, so I'm just going to sprinkle the mushrooms in there like that. And this is going to be the hard bit, is um, rolling rolling it all up. But I do have some film there. Probably should have put that down first, but let's just put that on there like that. And let's try and wrap this girl up like so. Messy job. There we go. Beautiful. So I wrapped it up now, just like this. I'm going to wrap, wrap it in the clean wrap and make sure it's really tight. Alright, got it in the clean wrap here. And we're just going to wrap this till it's tight as we can get it. Probably let it set in the fridge for about five minutes. As you notice, I'm squeezing the ends here just to get a nice, nice even shape. Probably hold it like that, get it a bit more firm. And that's the beef Wellington in the plastic like that. We're going to let it set in the fridge and we're going to roll out the puff pastry. Oh, I've just rolled, uh, I've just put two puff pastry sheets down there. It's roughly been in the fridge for about five minutes. I'm going to unroll it there just so it can set a little bit. Um, there we go, there it comes off, it's set a little bit. I uh, just got some melted butter, just going to go around the edges. On the outsides here, adds his beef wellington. Now, I hope I don't mess this bit up. This is where I'm going to roll it, yeah? So get your puff pastry sheets, just like so. Oh, perfect. Squeeze that in like that. And we're just coming on this last side, like so. Look at that. Adzi's Beef Wellington. Now, obviously, we're going to coat it in some melted butter now. And I'm going to bake it for about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, it was a kilo of white fillet, so it depends how you like your beef. I don't mind a bit of medium rare going on, so I should have a little bit of pink in there with my sear. So just make sure all the sides are buttered. And now just use the tip of the knife, the back of the knife, just to make some little nice lines here. So it can open up just like that, as you can see. Just gonna flip it over on the other side. Just gonna, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Last little coat. All right, look how beautiful that looks. Now I just want to season it with a little bit of salt. Well, a lot of salt, as you can see. Uh, I've got the oven preheated to 180 degrees, all buttered up. Adds his beef Wellington. Woo! Here goes nothing. Set the timer. 35 minutes. It's your preheated oven. And walk away. Who's excited? Fruit of the beef Wellington from Adzi. I'm nervous as you guys. Oh, 
crispy as, might use a serrated knife actually, just for the crumbs, ready? Oh yes, look at that, nice bit of red in there, I'll give you a close up, that's just cooked to perfection. You gotta like this rare, otherwise you gotta sear it for a long time. But look at that. It's got a nice little bit of pink in there. Everything's done. And we're just diving straight in for this beef wellington. Got some steamed broccoli with it, but we're not gonna worry about that at the moment. We're after this beef. Oh. So tender. Oh, the flavour in there is unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, well. Gonna try this, guys. Thanks. Hope you like. Hope you subscribe to Cooking with Adzi for many more great recipes. Love you.